woodworkers slowly carve logs piece by piece, all to make a masterpiece. And one weekend long event is showcasing that work from its very start. Storm Lake's annual Wood, Wine and Blues event kicked off today. There, seven carvers from across the country and Europe are competing to create the best wooden artwork. At the end of the weekend, those pieces will be judged and awarded. Carvers also had the chance to take part in a quick carve tonight. They had 90 minutes to create a piece that will be auctioned off over the next two days. Many of the woodworkers sell their pieces for a living, and this event is just one way to showcase all of the hard work that goes into their art. I feel like I'm playing, you know, I'm just working with my hands, um, making something that is in my head and just like bringing it to life in wood is, is super cool, it's very fulfilling, so. This year folks can take part in a wood painting station and make some artwork of their own. They also have a chance to roam around the park, watch the woodworkers and talk to, to, to them about the process. It's just amazing what they make. Uh, you, it's, you would have never uh, thought that what you see from the first day would end up being what you see in the last day. And it's just an amazing experience. Uh, it's something that I don't think I'll ever forget. On Sunday, they'll announce who got first, second, and third place. There's also a People's Choice Award where the winner gets a free chainsaw. Now, the events on Saturday kick off with the Storm the Lake Duathlon and Triathlon at 8 a.m., along with day two of chainsaw carving. At 10 a.m., inflatable axe throwing starts. An hour later, you can sip some wine in the park. At noon, you can either go for a swim at Kings Point's Outdoor Water Park or hear live music in the park. Perhaps cornhole is more your speed? You can take part in the tournament starting at 2. To see all the events for Saturday and Sunday, check out the story at KTIV.com. A big honor for a Northwest Iowa winery today. Oscar Carl Vineyard's Lascajo was selected as the 2024 Governor's Cup Trophy Award winner. Governor Kim Reynolds presented that trophy to Oscar Carl's owners, Roy and Melanie Olson, at a ceremony at the Iowa State Fair today. This means, <laughs> wow, the world to us. I mean, this is, this is the top award that you can get as a grape grower and a winemaker. The Iowa Wine Growers Association sponsors the award, which is the best of the best wine selected from six best of show winners. Overall today, it was gorgeous to get outside and enjoy. We had those temperatures staying in the low 80s. Overall, we stayed dry, just a couple of clouds over in northeastern Siouxland and trace amounts of precipitation up like in Spirit Lake. That's what our weather watcher reported to us today. And we should stay dry for tomorrow as well. Maybe a light rain possible tomorrow, but more so possible on Sunday west of I-29. Should be a gorgeous day tomorrow. Again, maybe those light showers Sunday. And those highs are going to be staying in those lower 80s the next few days and into the work week next week. So here's the view from our Orange City Camp where it's clear head over there and same thing here in Sioux City. This is our Blackbird Bend Casino cam. Right now we're at 69 with winds out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour. Now we have had some of that Canadian wildfire smoke and wildfire smoke from some U.S. wildfires move into our western portions of our viewing area. So they do have that air quality alert in effect. And that's going to be until 3 a.m. Saturday. But of course, if you are more sensitive, just let's see if you can limit time outdoors tonight and even into tomorrow until probably Sunday when that can really, really get a chance to clear up out of our area. So again, that's till 3 a.m. tomorrow. Satellite and radar, though, clear skies overhead after we did have some of those lighter showers going on in northeastern Siouxland, which are brought to us from that low pressure system that's currently moving its way across parts of, Min of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Temperature is in the upper Midwest. Minneapolis is at 70. We're at 68 in Sioux Falls, 69 here in Sioux City. 76 is the current temperature in Lincoln and in Rapid City. And here in Siouxland, we're staying in those upper 60s. It's 68 in Storm Lake and in Denison. Tacoma's at 71. Norfolk's the warmest of us at 74, with our dew points all in the lower 60s. Wind speeds have calmed down quite a bit, right around 5 miles per hour out of the northwest. And future track for the overnight hours. We'll have a couple of clouds for the most part, but we should stay fairly clear into our Saturday morning as well. Now, Saturday afternoon around 1 o'clock, maybe potentially seeing a lighter rain shower try and get going in the viewing area but again we should stay pretty dry for tomorrow sunday those when we could maybe see some heavier rain showers try and make their way in out in western siouxland right around 7 a.m and that'll continue to push its way to the east and stick
break off in western Siouan, staying west of I-29. Then for our Sunday night, we should clear things off fairly nicely once again. The next chance that we have for rain is going to be Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning, where we could potentially see some thunderstorms out of that as well. Overall, the humidity, it's just going to stay kind of muggy the next couple of days and into the mid portions of the work week. Weather watcher highs for today, upper 70s in northeastern Siouan, where we had more of that cloud cover and those showers coming down. Spirit Lake and Sibley both at 77. Lamar's got to 87. Rock Rapids saw 75. Out in western Siouan, Pender got to 83 as well as Wakefield. Here in Sioux City, we started at 59 and we worked our way up for our high of 83, which is right around average for this time of year. And tonight we'll see those lows dipping back down into the upper 50s. Again, those winds have really come down already, but they'll stay out of the northwest right between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear overall and we'll keep our skies fairly clear tomorrow as well, with maybe that slight chance of a shower near Tacoma in the afternoon hours. Our highs for tomorrow being in those lower 80s, some of us getting into the upper 70s. Overall, a gorgeous summer day. Sundays when we could maybe see some of those rain showers further out into the west. And then Tuesday night, showers and thunderstorms possible lingering into Wednesday morning. Our highs getting into the mid 80s by the latter portions of the week. Thursday and Friday both getting into the mid 80s, maybe even starting to reach getting closer towards the upper 80s as we head into next work week. But overall, not too bad of a forecast, staying pretty quiet and sunny most of the days with those temperatures really nice in the lower 80s. Yep, quiet and sunny. Two words I'd like for a forecast. Absolutely. Thanks, Elizabeth. We have an update tonight about the health of KTIV sports director Brad Pouch, and it's good news. In a post on Facebook, Brad said he had an appointment with his doctor this month, and this week he got good news about his MRI. It showed no new tumor growth. He says he's all set for the next three months. Brad also gave a special thank you on Facebook to his wife, Sally, as he continues to recover following surgery to remove a tumor from his brain back in 2021. Urban Dovins in the sports now, a great morning for football practice. Yeah, that's right, Matt. The Wayne State Wildcats, well, they took to the turf this morning as they are nearing the end of their second week of practice. Hear from the Wildcats coming up on their season after the break. And the Sioux City Explorers, they're hunting down a playoff spot. They had a chance to notch another win. Highlights from their battle across the border in moments.